And in the eight years that I've been back ranching, uh, we've had basically six subpar moisture level years. And the last two or three have been some of the hardest years that our farm has seen since the dirty 30s. Um, a scary thing was that in the 1920s, there was a 10-year drought. And then in the 1930s, there was a 10-year drought. And we're only in year six here. So um, we know that this grassland landscape was formed under multiple multi-year droughts. And we have to be prepared to manage land carefully through those dry years. And it is very hard to get ahead um, when you cannot extract from the land because it has to, uh, it has to be protected. Yeah, so dealing with drought, um, the number one thing we have to do is have less cattle. It's the way you, you deal with drought is you take less from the land because the land is giving less. It's, 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 it's waiting for more rain. And so we have to lower our financial goals. We have to reduce our inputs and we have to tend carefully to the recovery of the land so that when the rains come, we're not taking the first bite, but we're letting those plants grow and build biomass and restore that canopy. And we have to be careful not to be taking the grass down to nothing. And uh, the only way to do that is to have less cattle, which means less money. <laughs> There's, uh, there is a saying, though, uh, you can't have too much grass and you can't have too much money, but you most certainly can have too many cattle. And the idea is, well, you're better to sell the cattle than damage your land and, uh, and destroy your feedstocks. But um, people are wondering, well, why is the price of beef keep climbing? Well, we are living in inflationary times. The price of everything is climbing. But beef has this unique problem that we've had massive um, droughts through the United States and Western Canada that have reduced the beef herd in North America. And that's creating a pinch on supply. And that was going to take a few years to turn around. So um, we all feel it. Mm -hmm.